So, Hideo Kojima's first game in four years has recently hit store shelves. Death Stranding. But, unfortunately, Kojima said some things that, unfortunately, ended up getting lost in translation, and... Oh boy, it just feels like an absolute non-controversy for the sake of outrage, which is not at all 100% justified. Let's discuss it and I'll get right into it. <laughs> Death Stranding just recently came out on November 8th, 2019 to generally favorable reviews. That's not to say, however, that this game has been very, very divisive among the gaming populace. You'll have people like myself who really enjoy it, and I'm glad to see that Kojima is finally getting away from Metal Gear and doing something entirely different and fresh and new, as well as very unique. And on the other side of that, you'll have people who say that this game is a walking simulator, it's an apocalyptic Postman Simulator, Apocalyptic Postman Simulator 2019, you get the idea. This is Kojima's first game in the past four years after his unceremonious departure from Konami. But I'm not here to get into all of that. What I am going to get into is that there seems to be a bit of a mistranslation or lost in translation thing going on with what Kojima said in one of his latest interviews after the game shortly came out. This news is coming to us from WCCTech.com and this is where a lot of people really ended up getting furious and really bent out of shape. I must say that the game received rave reviews, especially in Europe and Japan. Here in the United States, however, we have had stronger criticisms. Perhaps it is a difficult game to understand for a certain type of critic and audience. Americans are great fans of the first-person shooters, and Death Stranding isn't one. It flies higher. I always try to create new things, and disputes and discussions are fine, but it must be said that the Italians or the French have a different artistic sensibility that allows them to appreciate this kind of very original product not only in video games, but also in cinema. And... This is where the confusion begins here, folks, because... As a matter of fact, there's actually some different translations that other sites did, like Kotaku, for example. And you had sites like IGN and Kotaku offering their take on this. IGN's translation goes for verbatim. I must say that the game has received some enthusiastic reviews, above all in Europe and in Japan. Here in the U.S., instead, we've had stronger criticisms. Perhaps it's a game that's difficult to understand for a certain type of critic and some of the public. Americans are some of the biggest first-person shooter fans, and Death Stranding isn't that. And then the Kotaku version simply reads, I have to say that the game has received enthusiastic reviews, especially in Europe and in Japan. Here in the United States, however, we've received stronger criticisms. Maybe it's a difficult game 
to understand for a certain type of critic and of the public. In America, there are many fans of first-person shooters, and a lot of them wish that Death Stranding were a different game. Maybe for that reason, they didn't give higher scores. I always look to create new things and welcome controversy and discussion, but it must be said that the Italians and the French have a diverse sensibility that allows them to appreciate this more original game of product not only in video games, but also in film. I really don't know where all the talk about first-person shooters came from, because that's obviously not true. We play a lot of uh, different games in a lot of different genres, so I have no idea how Kojima came up to that with that assumption. So... This is very, very interesting because it sounds like to me that there's definitely something that ended up getting lost in translation while being translated from one language to another, which is something that is definitely bound to happen. Kojima had something like this happen way back in September. You guys can look that up if you want to find out about that. It just feels like people are getting butthurt and outraged all over nothing to me. And yes, somebody did point out that the top 20 games aren't even first-person shooters, yes, and that's true, but mm, I honestly don't know who to side with on this one. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about this and where you stand on all of this hoopla with Kojima. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later, and this has been Die Hard Gamer, signing out.